This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Well, hello, traders. Welcome back from a long, lovely holiday weekend. I'm Andrea Scalise with your market wrap for Wednesday on the James Six Financial Network. We saw the Dow hit the 12,500 mark for the first time thanks to a strong read on new home sales and following, falling oil prices, even with low volume, thanks to our holiday week. Sales of new homes sold at an annual pace of 1.05 million, a rise from the reading of 1.01 in October. Analysts were expecting a pace of 1.02 million. Shares of Apple fell 6% in early trading this morning, but recovered as the day went on after a report surfaced that federal investigators are investigating stock option documents that have, may have been falsified by company officials. The two leaders of Toyota and Ford had a get acquainted meeting this week, but there were no talks of forming any alliance. According to Toyota spokesman Tomomi Aimai, the company's top execs are constantly meeting with counterparts of other automakers. Completely innocent, I'm sure. Any good news for Boeing today, who is set to outsell its rival Airbus for the first time since the year 2000. Big day tomorrow with economic releases with initial jobless claims, consumer confidence, existing home sales, and Chicago PMI. Only two earnings due out tomorrow from Learning Tree International and Citadel SCC Software. Also, you will want to keep an eye on shares of Apple, Crucell NV, Conveo Incorporated, Toyota Motors, and Wolverine Tube Incorporated. That's it for Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow.